How to be authentic. Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome. On this channel I teach people just like you how to be healthier, happier and more successful in life. Today we are going to talk about authenticity and how to be authentic. The interesting thing is that our modern world forces us to be fake. Just think about social media and think about your friends and relatives. Often when I scroll through my Facebook or Instagram, it seems like I don't know these people. Often they look completely different from who they really are. Social media does not value the real you in a comfortable leggings with a ketchup spot on your shirt. Social media is demanding you to be a supermodel who is smiling, sexy, seductive and happy 24-7. If you don't get enough likes from the first few exposure of your photo, Instagram will stop showing it to your followers. The photo or video of you must be extremely cute, extremely sexy, extremely funny or extremely weird even to be shown to all these people who are called friends on your profile. Let's start with a debate question. Do you need to be fake or do you need to be authentic in order to be loved? To answer this, we need to know what being authentic truly means. What does it mean to be authentic? There is a collective belief that being authentic, being who you truly are, nowadays means being boring, unnoticeable and unvalued. This is not true. This is a myth. Being authentic means being free. It means to accept yourself, your own natural beauty. Being authentic means to be brave to show your true feelings and emotions. Being authentic is not about your sweatpants, but about how you feel in these pants. There is an unspoken belief that if I'm being myself, then I'm not worthy of love. Because of social media, we have this collective detrimental idea that you must hide your true self and be someone else in order to be noticed by others. The funny thing is that the original purpose of social media was not about being fake, but about connection. The ability to connect with your friends and family and the ability to connect with people that you admire, celebrities, writers, singers and spiritual teachers. I honestly love this idea of connection, but we, people, unfortunately misuse this idea. It happened so naturally. The paradox is that we did it because we all wanted to feel great. We post a nice picture because we want to hear words of admiration. We want to see likes, hearts, thumbs ups. We want to hear a nice word from our friends, family and co-workers. We don't hear it enough in real life, so we have to use social media in order to get other people's attention. As a result, we created a competition that is destroying every one of us. In order to receive love and attention, we are competing and destroying each other. Why it is so hard to give a compliment in real life? Social media helps us to express our feelings. It is much easier to click a like button than to look another person in the eye and smile. It is much easier to write congratulations or click a thumbs up than to say words of admiration in person. People are afraid to express their emotions because that means to put their guards down and open their hearts. It is hard to give a compliment because we are afraid to show that we are vulnerable, that we are actually humans. We are hiding behind our devices and yet craving for real connections. We are going back to social media because we need an emotional connection more than anything in the world and yet we are constantly pretending and competing. 
When we see a great photo of our friend, we feel bad, jealous, angry, and even depressed. I see my clients on social media. They seem successful and happy. They are enjoying their lives, but then they come to my private sessions and I see their tears. How to be authentic. In today's video, I would like you to do an experiment. For the next seven days, every time you want to click like or do something nice on your friend's photo or video, do two things. One, click like, and then two, call your friend and say it on the phone. I'm not even asking you to do it in person. Do it via a phone call. If that's too difficult, do it with a text message. Uh, I'm going to do it right now. Let me go to my Instagram. Okay. I'm scrolling my feed. Okay. I see a nice photo of my friend and her kid. I click like, and now I'm going to send her a direct message. Hi, I just saw your photos from your kid's birthday. You look incredible and the little one and the little one is adorable. Send. That's it. Stop the video. Do the same thing. Go to your Facebook or Instagram and then come back to this video. Do it right now. At first, it will be hard to give a compliment, even by text message. You might even catch yourself being fake. We are used to putting on a mask and hiding our true self. I'm not asking you to throw your mask away. I'm asking you to lift it just a little bit. If you find yourself getting jealous, don't send your friend a rude message, but don't click like either. Be truthful to yourself first. Be authentic. If you feel angry or jealous, admit it to yourself. Once you admit your true feelings, you will be surprised by the shift of your perception of life. Instead of feeling angry, you will be curious. It is possible that next time when you see a nice picture of your friend, your reaction will be completely different. You can say, you look incredible, what's your secret? So start by being authentic to yourself first. Let me know in the comments what being authentic means to you. I love reading your comments. Don't hesitate. Your opinion is very important to me and to people who are just like you watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, then I have a gift for you. If you want to receive seven free self-development webinars that will help you to understand yourself better, seven free guided meditations to lower your anxiety and boost your self-esteem, and seven free healing exercises to overcome your fears, let go of your limiting beliefs and manifest your dreams, then click the link below the video. Ask your questions in the comments and I will be happy to share my professional opinion with you. If this video was helpful, give me a like and share it with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. See you in my next video. Bye!